Yeah, so right there, you know, he's, he's kind of explaining it. You can go with the flow of traffic, but know that they can only pull over one and it may be you. So just be aware of the speed limits and uh, just, you know, obey the laws. Um, so one-way signs, and uh, when you see a one-way, uh, what are some other indicators that there may be a one-way street? Does anyone know? Besides just the sign. Flaw of traffic, right? If all the cars are going one way. How about another one? A road line. Right, on the road. It may indicate it on the road markings. So, great. And then, when you're at a red light, always watch out for this guy. And why do you, what, what do you all think they would ever put up an ocean on red? At a stoplight. Because sometimes you can turn right on red, or turn somewhere on red. Right, so you can, use, you, you can typically take a right on red, and if they were to place this under the lights, the street, street lights, why, what reason would it be? Does anyone know? Pedestrians. Right. There may be a high amount of pedestrians that walk through that intersection. Also, there may be a lot of traffic that is just kind of crazy at that intersection. So, to, and there may have been a lot of accidents. You know, people may have been gotten hit, cars may have gotten into collisions. So, uh, then they have to put that up to just, you know, decrease the amount of uh, danger. And so, it's kind of like what we're talking about, you know. At this intersection, you know, if, if you ever see this no turn on red and you're parked there, this intersection may have a high amount of incidents of either people getting hit or just a lot of traffic just crossing each other and there may have been a lot of crashes, so. And then, these no parking signs. Quick review, what kind of, what category do these signs fall under? Of the three categories. Regulatory. Regulatory, right. Remember red and white and black, so. Um, so, no parking anytime. So if you ever see this, which, can you park here? Can you park here? So you can park here, right? Because this, this is pointing that way. So anything this side of the sun, you can't park, okay? So watch the arrow. Anything on this side, you're fine. And then uh, also watch for certain times. So sometimes it might say no parking, only 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. And once again, can you park on this side of the side? No? And how about this side? So remember, Yes, you can park on this side because the arrow is pointing this way. So everything on this side of the sign, you can park. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't park, but you're fine on this side of the sign. So just pay attention to that when you all park. When you park, and then anyone ever see a no standing anytime sign? Ever seen that? Anyone know what it might mean? Right, exactly. So you can unload if you need to drop somebody off, or you need to pick somebody up, you just pick them up, but you can't just sit there. Even if you're in your car, you can't just sit there. It's called basically you're standing there. And then are you okay 
on this side or this side or this side, either side? No, right? Because it's pointing both ways. So anywhere in that area, uh, you can't just sit and park. And then uh, you're going to see these at certain places. And it says no parking from 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. What, what do you guys think is the significance of this time? 8.30 to 5.30. Working hours? Yep, that's the working hours. This is normal business hours. So this is probably going to be um, in a location where it's a really bu busy building, you know. And there's limited parking. So um, for whatever reason, to control traffic better or, you know, just... Uh, the roadways, you'll see that. And then for this two hour parking, um, why would it be only two hours between these times? Kind of the same reason. You know, these are business hours, so uh, they don't want somebody clogging up that parking spot the whole day because so many people probably need to park there for so many reasons. So. Moving on, uh, so this diamond marks a restricted lane. Anyone ever see the diamond in the road? Okay, if you see it, um, make sure you fall under one of these categories, right? You're, it's the HOV, vehicle, a bus, or a bicycle. That's typically what it's used for. And you kind of see, kind of pay attention to the markings on the road because it'll tell you. Who knows what HOV stands for? high occupancy vehicle, so usually two or more people. So if you're driving by yourself, then that lane, if it's open to HOV, then you wouldn't fall into that category. And is this a regulatory warning or a guide sign? Regulatory, why is that? Because you can't park any handicap spot in the handicap. Right, right. So it's a handicap sign, you can't park there. And there's no question about it. So you ever see that? Although it is blue, it does fall under regulatory. And so what are what are these signs? What are these what do these mean? Does anyone know? Right, railroad crossing. And then what's the difference between the yellow circle one and then the white cross button? Yeah. You guys know? So remember, yellow signs fall under which category? What's that? Warning. warning, right? So yellow, if you see a yellow circle, it's warning you railroad tracks are ahead. You see a white cross button. You're right at the railroad. So you, you typically see that first, and that's when you're right there. And then if you see exempt under uh, a, a cross bug, do you all know what that means? So typically a railroad crossing, you guys ever see like buses stop there, look back and forth? And, and trucks and things. So that's because those, those railroads are active with trains. If you ever see exempt, then buses and trucks, they don't need to park. Commercial vehicles, they don't need to park and look both ways. They can just go right through, so. Uh, so pentagons are for school zones. I'm sure you've all seen these. And they're either yellow or yellow-green. And so if you ever come across these signs, be, you know, definitely look out for students. Uh, and if you see the speed limit, uh, it says whenever children are present. And so what if you don't see any children? Then do you have to obey that speed limit? Yes. So you do, but 
during school hours only. So uh, outside of school hours, then that doesn't matter, even if you don't see any students. So, and then uh, you're going to see these around busy areas. Uh, it's a diamond yellow or yellow green, and it's pedestrians are crossing. What kind of places do you guys usually see these? Um, not at like an intersection, but it's typically where, some, where there's a busy place. Like let's say there's a park, right? And a lot of people cross to get to that park from a neighborhood. You're, you'll typically see you know, a yield sign to pedestrians so that they can walk across and get to the park, or it's just somewhere busy that a lot of people need to get to. So a lot of people tend to cross that road to get there. And so you see that quite, quite often around. Um, and then just pay attention to any of these signs that may come up as well as far as uh, letting you know uh, about pedestrians in the area. And who knows what's unique about this sign? Actually, what shape is it? It's a triangle. Triangle, right? They actually call this a pennant, and it's very important. You need to know that and remember that. Because uh, this is, and it's for a no passing zone. And so, where would they put a no passing zone sign typically? The answer's up there. I didn't even look, but yeah. But when you can't really see, right? You can't really see ahead. Um, you know, especially at night, and could be a hill, right? Or a curb, you can't really see ahead. So, no passing zone, as in like, you can't pass the car in front of you. It's really dangerous, you can't really see far enough ahead. So, and, do you guys see a reason for this sign to be here? It looks like a country road and there's like, if there's hills in the distance. Yeah, exactly. So as you can see, yeah, there's kind of hills in the distance and you can't see what's coming, what's going to come up over that hill at any time. So if you're going to try to pass a car, it could lead to a really bad accident, not knowing what's how fast and what's coming over that hill. And so right here, right, there's a truck right there. And so it's kind of just a zoomed in version of the previous image, but as you can see, it's so hard to see. And so vehicles that travel less than 30 miles per hour usually have this shape on it. What kind of vehicles usually have, usually travel less than 30 miles per hour anyway? Salt tank Yep, salt tank trucks. Snow plows. Yep, snow plows. Yep, sweeps. And they're sweeping the road. So, and where will it usually be located? The back. Yep. And right the back right there. And what's the difference between these two? If you're, gonna, if you're driving and you see this sign, what does it mean? So up ahead is what? An yeah, intersection. And so just be cautious of that. Um, you, may, you may have to yield. So this is just something for you to be aware of. And how about this sign? What's it different? It's like an intersection, but your road is only going this way, you have to go a little bit. Right, right. So it's a T intersection. So your road's going to end. And so there's going to be oncoming traffic 
that you're going to run into. So, so just be aware of those two things and plan on yielding. And what do these signs mean? Well, what, what about these two? You're going to, the road's going to, yeah, go left. And this one is it's going to be a sharp left. This one is going to be a gradual left. And this one is what? Yeah, it's going to be a winding road. And so, so on this one, you're going to want to go a little slower, right? Because it's going to come to a sharp turn. This one, you don't have to go as slow. It's, you know, it's a winding road. And this one, you want to go really slow because it's going to be a really wide, winding, curvy road. So, And what do these signs mean? Well, okay, what does this sign mean if you see this? Right. The road is curving right, and the road is curving left. And are they the same as these two? Yeah. Yep. Pretty much the same thing. You see, usually you're going to see a bunch of these as the road is curving left, or else you're going to see these right before it starts curving left. So. And so these signs, what is this thing? Does anyone know? The middle part of the road, like the divider. Right, the divider, right? So when you see this, this right here, what is that telling you? Divider upper head, exactly. Uh, and then this one? So when the divider's on bottom, you're, you're leaving an area where there was a divide. So it's, the divide's going to end soon. And then this one, pretty much there's no divide, right? And so, this one can be a little more dangerous because this one has oncoming traffic and you guys are on the same road with no divider between you. So a lot of crashes happen uh, in these types of um, roads where there's no divide. So just be very cautious and careful. And then these signs, what kind of signs are these once again? Yep, warning signs, and who knows what this means? Stop yep, stop sign ahead, yield ahead, and yep, traffic lights ahead, pretty much. And this one is yep, speed limit is going to change to 55 miles per hour ahead. So. And then these two, if you see them, you just know. And these are, again, more warning signs, right? Could be um, livestock, tractors, maybe a lot of deer in the area, kids playing, snowmobiles. Who knows what this one means? Anyone? So this one, what does this look like? Railroad. Yep, railroad. So up ahead, if you're going to take a left, you're going to cross a railroad. So just kind of warning you of that. And what does this sign mean? Slippery roads. Yep, slippery roads ahead. And a soft shoulder. Anyone knows? First of all, anyone knows what a shoulder is? Yeah, the side of the road. And you know what a soft shoulder means? It means it's going to be like gravel, like not paved, right? The road is paved and it's a little softer. 
Uh, and then pavement ends, of course. Up ahead, your road is not going to be paved anymore. And of course, these are just warning you that there's a dip ahead or a bump ahead, so you know, just slow down so you don't damage your vehicle. And these signs uh, warn you of a steep hill. And they're mainly for trucks and really heavy vehicles. But they need to be aware of, aware of it the most. And this, if it says 8%, that's more for trucks, just letting them know how much of a uh, percentage uh, this is declining and getting steep. And so, and has anyone ever seen these? Yeah? For when I would take, say, if uh, you're like a semi truck and then like your brakes give out, you turn on your hazards and you go up that? Sure, yep. So it's like a runway to help trucks slow down. And have, where have you seen it? Do you uh, remember? Tennessee. Tennessee, okay. Usually where, yeah, where there's like a lot more hills on the freeway, so probably not directly in the Twin Cities, but if you go up north more or you start heading out of state, then as the roads become more hilly, then you would see these. Uh, okay, this is, this is a great scenario to use your SIPD. Anyone remember what that stands for? Scan, identify, predict, decide, execute. Yep, scan, identify, predict, decide, execute. So let's just try that out, OK? 